Now, she won the Choice Music Prize with her debut album, 13 Songs, and since then, Galway woman Julie Feeney has been impressing audiences with her talent and single-mindedness. On top of that, she has a strong sense of theatre, which comes out in her style. When it comes to having an individual and eclectic look, it's really hard to beat Galway woman Julie Feeney. This woman likes to do her own thing. So we've come here to the newly opened Cliff House in Dublin St. Stephen's Green to check out her style. Most famous friend. Now Julie, there are a few things we must clear up first. You're not exactly from Athenry in Galway. I'm from between Athenry and Abinakmoy. And you're not exactly a singer-songwriter either, are you? Um, I suppose it's because I compose music as well. I work as a composer as well of instrumental music. I do a lot of orchestral work as well. So I, I'd be a composer and a singer, yeah. CV you have. I mean, you've done three masters in Trinity College and you've also studied in The Hague. Talk us through it. I just kind of kept going along, noodling along, just doing what kind of felt like the right next thing to do. The next thing they were kind of stacking up and I wasn't really thinking about it. Yeah, just talk us through the three masters that you've done. Uh, psychoanalysis, uh, music and media technologies and uh, synology and composition. Anyway, that, that, that. You're frightening me now. Now, whatever about your music, it's so individual. Also, your style is too. How would you describe your style or would you even describe it at all? Uh, for my stage work, it depends on the album I'm on and on pages it's very much fairy tale inspired because the music, the world that I wanted to create was very much a fairy tale world, that cosy nice place that you go to when you're age six that you can still remember. So I do like to mirror that. Talking about the fairy tale theme, just talk us through the first look here because this black dress, it's beautiful, but there's something of the child still about you. Yeah, I think there is. I mean, if, when you're playing with children, you can act act the, the child yourself. Uh, for me, it's when I'm on stage or when I'm uh, trying to get costumes that come from the core of the fairy tale world. So I do like the, the baby doll kind of look. So this hoop skirt, uh, you're probably going to kill me, but it does remind me a little bit of Lady Gaga's style. That's funny, but uh, yeah, we actually had it. I wore it before Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah, you got in there first. No, I did. I mean, for me, I see Little Red Riding Hood theme, like the kind of, that's, that's where I see him, and uh, Attack on Humans made it uh, exactly what the way that I had envisaged in my head. And the Christopher Kane jumpsuit just works inside it. I know not your heart or your mind or your name. Your Achilles heel or from where you came. I take it you're not shy when it comes to being on stage, at least. No, I'm not shy at all, and I love bringing the audience close. I go into the audience quite a lot, uh, so there's a lot of audience inter interaction, and uh, we have a lot of fun, and I always make sure we have a lot of fun. You know, for open-minded people and people who get what you do, that's all grand, but what about people who don't? I mean, do you get a lot of, oh my God, what's going on here, reactions? I never, do, never get it in the show, because you've got 90 minutes, and over the whole show, I've never had anybody... No, it, it always, I just like to make people, you know, I just like, I like the world myself where you're nice and relaxed and it's, it's fun and everybody likes being a child so I, I don't think you get too much, I don't get too much objection. Well we certainly have no objection to your individuality and applaud your strong sense of self, Miss Feeney. Ash, I can't believe you got her to stand on the table. I couldn't get her down off the table, Glenda. Well that's all from us for today, we're coming up tomorrow painting the town red.